Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you the unboxing and the installation of my new APs in my home network. So if you are new to this channel, I've been sharing with you the installation of my home network. And this is the design that I'm implementing right now. I showed you in the last few videos how I installed the, the 40 gate, which is my main firewall. I also showed you how I installed the switch, um, the Unify cloud key and so on. So today we're going to talk about the wireless and I'm going to show you what I'm going to install. And if you are an IT professional or if you are a future IT professional or if you just like tech in general, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I share with you most of my IT project here. And I also share with you what I know and what I'm still learning in this field. I'm a network engineer myself. So go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Also click on the notification bell so that every time I upload a video you are notified and also I have some APs that I bought last time that I'm not going to use so I'll do a giveaway really soon so be sure that you follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that you get the message and you would enter the giveaway as I said this is the design I have a couple VLANs here different networks for security and I'm going to install four APs. I even had a comment from someone saying, hey, Guy, you don't need as much APs. Um, it depends. I know it's a little overkill to have four APs in a single house, but it depends on how much um, square footage I'm trying to cover. I have like 4,800 square feet in this house, and I want all the devices to be connected efficiently. And I'm also going to have a lot of smart devices. And by the way, if you don't wanna miss my smart home journey, don't forget to subscribe to my personal channel, Gibisuku. That's where I'm going to share with you the project of the installation of all the smart devices in this house. I'm going to have one AP on the main floor, I mean, on the, on the first floor upstairs. This is the Unify 6 LR that I'm going to put there. I'm also going to have an AP on the main floor, I'm going to put the Unify 6 Lite on it. And here in the basement, I'm going to put a Unify 6 Lite as well. And the Unify AC in wall will be in a garage. Why do I need an AP in a garage? Um, I spend a lot of time there when I'm doing my DIY projects. And also I'm planning to buy a smart car, a Tesla or something similar. So I want to have good signal in the garage as well. So the advantage of these here is that I can send all my VLANs wirelessly to all the devices. So I can uh, create those segments in my wireless network. You can do that with your regular Wi-Fi router from your ISP. So you need something that is more like an enterprise uh, device, just like Unify here to get that capability. And I decided to use the Unify 6 equipment to have all the benefits of Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 is this new Wi-Fi standard, which is 802.11ax, which is trying to replace the 802.11ac that we've been used to, that is very popular, still very good and relevant. I have an AP here running Wi-Fi 802.11ac, and I also have one running AX, and AX is definitely better than AC. Sometimes it's not really worth the upgrade, but you get some great benefits. You can connect many devices at very high speed. And that is something that I definitely wanted to have when I'm installing my new network in this new house. So if you want to watch more videos about the differences between the Unify 6 LR and the Unify 6 Lite, or even compared to the other APs, I, I recommend to watch Crosstalk Solutions. Chris does a good job there. So now I'm going to do the unboxing of the Unify 6 LR as well as the Unify 6 Lite. And I will quickly unbox the Unify AC in wall as well. By the way, I waited for like three months to get my Unify 6 LR um, shipped to me because they are relatively new. So right now they don't have them in stock as much. So if you order uh, today, you may wait um, um, a couple months or a couple weeks to get this delivered. So this is the Unify 6 LR. Let's do the unboxing. Yeah, very well protected. All right, so this is the Unify 6 LR. It's uh, it's kind of big. I'm going to compare it to the Unify 6 uh, Lite really soon, and uh, you're going to see how, how big this is. So here on the back, we have our um, PoE Plus port where the RJ45 or your Ethernet cable is connected. We also have the reset button on the back here, and this is to protect your, your, your wires and everything against uh, water and so on because you can also install this 
outside and this is what i'm going to use to mount this to the ceiling because i'm going to mount this um to the ceiling on the first floor and we also have all the screws and everything we need to mount this everywhere we want to mount it all right so i put this on the side and i'm going to open the unify 6 light first and we're going to adopt everything in our network So this is the Unify 6 Lite. Here you can see the, the Ethernet port where you can connect your PoE um, connection or cable coming from the switch. And this is what I'm going to attach to the wall because this is, this is going to be mounted on the wall. So I'm going to attach it and then it will go to the back like this and will lock. All right, quickly I'm also going to unbox the Unify AC in wall but we won't spend a lot of time on it. It goes to the wall like this. I attach this to the wall and um, I put the screws there. And also I bring this and I put this cover on top of it. I like it because at the bottom it has these two um, RJ45 ports where you can uh, connect some other devices and get PoE right here and get just data on this other port. So this is a, this is a pretty cool device. I'm going to install it in the garage. All right, so here we have the Unify 6 LR and the Unify 6 Lite. These are two beautiful devices. Um, this one is, is kind of heavy. I mean, it's very heavy compared to the Unify Lite. And the LR stands for long range. So this one goes a little far. It also supports uh, multiple users or multiple equipments. And it's rated IP54. So you can have some reasonable amount of water being splashed to this device and it, it will be just fine. So you can install it outside if you want to. And this is the Unify 6 Lite. Uh, this is for indoor use only. And it's, it's, it's small, it's beautiful. It looks good on the wall. Um, it's you don't have to hide it so it can be somewhere where people can see it so um, it's a it's a beautiful uh, piece of equipment and I'm going to also bring this to my network so what I'm going to do now is add them to my firewall so that we can connect them to the network adopt them into unify network so they can do the updates and everything they need and we're going to install them where they are going to be mounted and we will spend the rest of this video doing the configurations and sending the different uh, SSIDs and, and everything that's needed inside Unify Network. All right, so I added the three devices to my firewall. So now when they connect to this network, they'll be able to get IP addresses. So now I'm going to go on the port 13 on the switch. That's where I connected these cables. So I want to make sure that the port is on the VLAN 35 so that these devices will get IPs. And I'm going to change the management VLAN to the VLAN 35. Then I can change the port back to uh, to a trunk port. All right, so when you have your um, your AP connected to your network, it should have an IP address. So make sure you have DHCP enabled. Or if you are signing the IP manually, make sure you have an IP ready for your device. And then after that, you can go on your, on your dashboard and unify network. And you're going to see a notification showing you that a new device has been added. And you should be able to just click on adopt and have the new device added to the list of devices that you have. And after that, uh, in my case, for example, I had to change the management VLAN to the VLAN 35 because the cable going to the switch is a trunk. So I have multiple VLANs coming in. So I need to tell the device that the management VLAN is the VLAN 35. So when I do that change, now I'm ready to go and install my, uh, my APs. And uh, I installed the first Unify 6 Lite in the basement. Um, it took me a moment to make a hole for the cable and get it installed there. The other U6 Lite is in the living room for the main floor. That one as well looks pretty good. And finally, the U6 LR is on the first floor um, up the stairs. This one is going to cover all the bedrooms and everything upstairs. So now let's go back to Unify Network and I can show you how you can do some configurations. This is uh, the list of devices that I currently have. I need to do the update on the on the switch. But if you want to add an SSID, you need to go under Settings. And here you have Wi-Fi. This is the list of all the SSIDs that I currently have. These are my legacy SSIDs. They are still here just for the transition. But over time, I'm going to create um, new SSIDs 
to connect all the devices to. All right, so if you want to add an SSID, you just need to click on Add New Wi-Fi Network, give it a name, give it a password, and the VLAN um, that you want to attach uh, to the SSID. And you have some advanced configurations here. You can uh, choose the, the band that you want for your, for your SSID. Me, for example, I prefer having both under the same SSID. It's, it's good, it's convenient. And you can also choose what APs you want to broadcast a certain SSID that you are creating. Most of the time you want all the SSIDs on all the APs, which is the case here. And then uh, we have all the other configurations here, security and so on. I uh, didn't really dig into them. But if you have questions on how you can create a VLAN or a, net a network, you need to check my video on the switch. That's where I explained uh, the creation of new VLANs or new networks. All right, so that's all I can show you for today. The installation of the of the APs is done, and I still have to install the AP in a garage. That one is going to take a moment. I just need some time to finish it, and that's it. Thank you for watching this, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any question, leave it in a comment or send me an email. I'll be glad to respond. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.